Hello everybody. I wanted to show you something I'm really excited about today. Here is a cube that just arrived made out of pure thorium metal. Um, thorium is a radioactive metal and it's uh, obviously not something that you'd expect to have an object made out of uh, for resale. I want to open this here and take a better look at it. I'm really excited for this project because it's been a little over a year since we started this uh, customer um, wanted to have a complete set of all the possible metals including thorium which was theoretically possible to make but extremely expensive and uh, as it turned out he had the budget and said let's do it and this little thing right here you're looking at is cost over $25,000 to make. Um, how can that be? Well, I, I agree. Thorium as a metal is something that you find in radioactive sands. Um, a lot of it is recovered from uh, the same sands that um, provide uh, rare earth metals um, that is mined a lot in China. Uh, however, this uh, thorium was actually <clears throat> made here in the USA and shipped over to China where the cube was made and then sent back. And the funny thing is we sell this at $1,500 a gram, but in order to make this cube, we had to send in 21 grams. Um, the density of thorium metal is only uh, 11 grams and change, the same as lead, but we need to send more in to have the, um, because you need to put it in a mold and it needs to be ground down and needs to have all this stuff done in order to carve out a cube out of a lump of it. So they asked for 21 grams. So you can do the math. And you can see how expensive it is. That extra um, nearly 10 grams of material is no longer sellable as metal. It has it's it's scrap it's oxidized so that sells for a lot less and in the end I'm sure we lost money doing this but who cares this this is just such a an event for us that uh, I'm I'm just tickled pink that this actually came about so here is the little cube 10 millimeters to a size so you have a centimeter a cubic centimeter of it and um, it's going to be weekly radioactive. I'm going to check that out in a second. And first I wanted to uh, check the density. It should be at least 11 grams, you know, because the, the density is 11 point something, 11.7 <laughs> or 11.3 grams per cubic centimeter. So you would expect that to be the case. 11.3. Uh, not that this is a great scale or anything, but uh, it shows that it is the actual metal. Um, but what if it was lead and, you know, we're duping the uh, customer, right? Well, for that, we have this guy here. And let's check it out. This should... Now, thorium is weakly radioactive, meaning that it's not going to give a huge reading, but it's definitely, you can see that it's it's definitely registering a signal and here it's uh let's say a little over a hundred microsieverts per hour um, and that that probably if i were to look it up in a, in a table would be what you'd expect uh, from this material uh, so that's pretty cool uh, that cinches it that this is in fact pure thorium metal and what do I do with it now? Well, I put it back in its little box, tell the customer, hey, your order is ready, and hopefully uh, the customer will be really happy to uh, complete a set. This is much more expensive than um, rhodium, which is the next most expensive cube I think we sell, like nearly $10,000. Uh, in fact, this one cube alone costs probably comparable to the entire set of 60 some other cubes put together. Uh, it's just crazy. Um, thorium metal is for the most part air stable. 
meaning that you could leave it out in the open like this and it's not going to tarnish at least it's not going to tarnish um, much over uh, you know a few years it might darken a little bit uh, and it you know I've seen some uh, thorium that we did the initial actual thorium that we received for part of this order was distilled back in the 40s 1940s and um, it, it was a little bit tarnished. You see some like spotting, white spots. It looks a lot like lead, you know, how lead will turn dark. Uh, but for, for you know, many years, it will look exactly like this and it does not need anything, any other treatment. Uh, inside this little acrylic cube, it'll be even better protected. So uh, congratulations to the guy who can afford to pay for the special project and uh, I'm, I can't wait to let this person know that their cube is finally ready after a year. Uh, we, we started communicating back in, in May of 2023 and here it is uh, late June of 2024 that it's been completed and it was a lot of work, a lot of back and forth with the lab you know, do you approve this? You know, it just cost overruns and um, just technical difficulties because uh, this has to be uh, machined under a controlled atmosphere. While it's air stable, like I just said, the thorium metal is very sensitive to oxidation once you have elevated temperatures. So then you need to uh, heat it up in, in a vacuum or in a, in a you know an atmosphere that is uh, free of oxygen. So it's a pain in the ass, and that is in part uh, why it costs so much to make and it was so difficult to make and it took so long. So if any other customers can afford this, uh, well, uh, we could in theory do more if we can get our hands on more thorium metal. Uh, I, I, at the moment, I don't think we can pull it off again, but I'd have to check our stock. In any case, um, until the day that thorium metal is more widely available, um, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you're just not going to be able to find uh, more of this, uh, which is a shame because it's not particularly rare in nature. Uh, it's just that uh, it's very difficult to um, make in a metallic form. And since there's no commercial uses for it, then that severely limits the uh, availability. All right, I've gone on long enough. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or send me an email. This is Raciel for Luciteria. Thank you so much.